single top stitch seam. For the purpose of creating design or decoration in garments or products, there are decorative seams. One such decorative seam is the single top stitch seam. As the name suggests, a single line of stitching is visible on the right side of the garment or product. The stitching is purposefully made conspicuous as it is used to embellish the product. And it is this single top stitch seam that we are going to learn in this class. Objectives At the end of this class, you will be able to identify a single top stitch seam. So, a single top stitch seam. What is a single top stitch seam? This is what a single top stitch seam looks like. A single top stitch gives the seams extra strength and at the same time prevents the raveling of the fabric. Let's see how to do a single top stitch on a sample. The procedure of sewing a single top stitch seam. You will need the following items to do this sample. Cotton fabric. Straight ruler. Pattern square. Straight pins. Measuring tape. Taylor's chalk. Shears. A pair of small scissors. Contrasting thread. Iron. Sewing machine. Now let's begin. Step 1. Measure, mark and cut out the sample fabric pieces. At the outset, take two layers of cotton fabric. Measure and draw 10 inch by 10 inch square on it with the help of a ruler, pattern square, measuring tape and a tailor's chalk. Using the shears, cut the market squares. Step 2. Mark the seam allowance. Now take one of the fabric pieces and lay it on the table with its wrong side up using a pattern square measuring tape and tailor's chalk mark one inch seam allowance using one of its cut edges Now pin the two pieces with the right side together with the market seam line on the upper side. Step 3. Stitch the seam. Now we will start stitching. Press the reverse stitch lever and start with the reverse stitch to prevent the seam from opening. Leave the reverse stitch lever and stitch along the seam line 
with a normal stitch length. Again, press the reverse stitch lever and end with the reverse stitch to prevent the seam from opening. Snip the thread with a pair of small scissors and remove the straight pins. Step 4. Press the seam. Press the seam line with an iron. Then open the fabric so that the right sides of the fabric are no longer together. Then press the seam allowance to one side with an iron. Step 5. Top stitch the seam. Working on the right side of the sample, top stitch about 1 8 inch to 1 4 inch parallel to the seam line, fixing the seam allowance under with the fabric. Snip the thread with a pair of small scissors. Finally, you have your sample with a single top stitch seam ready. Please note, here we are using a contrasting thread for demonstration purposes only, so that it is visible, but otherwise one could use a thread matching the fabric. With that, we come to the end of this class. Let's recall what we have learned in this class. This is what a single top stitch seam looks like. It gives the seam extra strength and at the same time prevents the raveling of the fabric. The procedure of sewing a single top stitch seam lets review its basic steps. Step 1. Measure, mark and cut out the sample fabric pieces. Step 2. Mark the seam allowance. Step 3. Stitch the seam. Step 4. Press the seam. Step 5. Top stitch the seam. This is the single top stitch seam. So now you have learned all about the single top stitch seam. Take our next class to learn about the double top stitch seam.